Hello, this is Mentor Sabrina and how to make a quiz game where you every question you get right makes a fire grow and when it touches a spaceship it blasts off saying that you've completed the quiz. To get started we need to complete com create some lists. So first make sure your stage is the active object. So down here click on the stage. Then click on data. Our list is going to store all of the questions we want to ask. So click make a list. For the name, type questions. Then click on OK. Now, to get started adding things to questions, we first need to make sure that the questions list is always empty at the start of our program. To do that, click on events and pull out a when green flag clicked. Then go back to data and grab delete one of questions. Change the one to an all. The reason we want to do this is without this block, every time we press the green flag, our questions will be added over and over and over again, the same exact questions, and we don't want that. So now to add something to the list, pull out the add thing to questions block. Change the word thing to a question. For this, these videos, I will use only math questions and only multiplication, but for this project, you can use any questions with any subject material that you'd like. So change thing to a math question for me. And now when I hit the green flag, you'll see that it appears there. We want to add at least 10 questions, so pull out another 9 of these blocks. and then change all of the things to other questions. You can make your questions progressively more difficult, or you can just put all of your questions in whatever order you want. Okay, once you have all of your questions, you can hit the green flag, and you see you only see one question here, but it says your length is 10. If you notice this little dark gray circle here, that's a scroll bar, and you can click it and drag it up to see all your other questions. The next thing we need to do is make another list and call it answers. So this will hold all of the answers for all of these questions. Notice how it appears down here. Why don't we click it and drag it over here so we can see all of our answers as we add them. Now this is going to start off the exact same way the questions did. Click on events and pull out when green flag clicked. Then go back to data and grab delete one of answers and change the one to all again. Now pull out as many add blocks as you have questions. So in my case that would be 10. And the answer that you put in here has to be the answer for the question, the same question in the list. So in this case, this would be 20 for me, this would be 26, and so on and so forth. Make sure it's something you know the answer to. Once you have done that, click the green flag and you'll see that all of your questions now have all of their answers. Now the last thing we need to do is hide the list because we don't want the player to see all the questions and all of the answers right at when they were playing the game. Where you made the list, notice the names of them and there's these little check boxes. Click on those check boxes and they disappear. And that is all for lesson one.